this final week has been a little bit stressful, so we decided to take out our extra angst in a productive way, namely this fence. That was funny. Well, the outside of the hotel is starting to look good. We got everything the way it should be. First coats of paint up. Still got to do some edging, but it's really the inside that's finally starting to take shape. Let's take a look inside. 101, the room I like to stare at. Ah! Well, okay, so this is what it was when I started on this room, and I stared at it for quite a long time, trying to figure out how to make this room actually look like something kind of decent. And this is what I decided on. Still trying to figure out this light. Ah, look at that. It's nice and fresh. Everything's gray. We got some vinyl floor. That should be really good for tenants. That, you know, just in case I spill some water somewhere. We have the carpet coming in Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll be putting in all that stuff. Awesome thing. My plumbers are here. They said they'll be here all day tomorrow with me. Same with my electrician. So tomorrow's going to be a really productive day. Tomorrow being Thursday of our final crazy week. Um, most of these rooms kind of look like you'd imagine. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I finally kind of chose a door paint. I actually chose the wrong door paint. I uh, picked out. I, I, I kind of like it though. We're going to go with it. The doors are now green. Um, my vinyl, kind of a wood plank thing. I did do uh, a couple different ones just because we bought all the vinyl that Twin Arts had of this particular style. Gray floors are in good shape in that one. Still got to play with this room over here. Um, it's nice because the drywall texturing and everything is done. Now I just have to mess everybody's day up by finishing up those cabinets, hanging them, putting them where they should be, make them look good. But Julie's been painting doors all day. It's been pretty fun. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of come together. So, if you guys keep your eyes open, there's a lot of other random things that we spent the last two days painting in 100 degree weather. Um, this room, for one, is coming together. But, we step over here, we'll see the other half. It's all still the ugly cream of my coffee brown. So, new carpet coming down. Roofers are pretty much finished up, up there. Uh, they have to do some uh, final flashing stuff, and I'm, I'm sure a little bit more, but texture going on in here and gray paint it looks so refreshing I think just clean paint in general looks refreshing patches are done they should all blend in behind the paint and now we're kind of getting ahead of our plumbers and electricians we're trying to uh, texture the walls inside the rooms and we're just gonna leave those last chunks there without drywall so that way we don't mess up their inspections and stuff but not that we're pushy, we, we definitely aren't calling them every couple hours trying to force them out here. But uh, really appreciate you guys, our plumbers and electricians, Mark's Plumbing and John Electric. Oh, speaking of people, check out our railing guys. They're up there working really hard. They're going to be done today, that's what they told me. We'll see. We'll see. First cut of that black paint looks really good too. Alright, 201. Wasn't much wrong with it, but now it's gray. Got all this great flooring. Everything was in good condition. We had one minor little patch that we put, I think, I think we're at 17 layers of mud now, floating it out. So that's fun. It was pretty much a cave. Now it's part of the wall. Sorry if I sound a little tired. Um, I've had a long night, a long couple days. We had uh, some kids decided that it'd be a great idea to pull the fire alarm at 1 a.m. last night. Um, made for an interesting night when you wake up at five um yeah these tarps are down on the floor so that way we can not drip the black paint from the ceiling onto the concrete see all that black paint there i don't want to have to paint all this concrete black because well there's no more black paint in lincoln at this point so at least not for concrete not the good stuff we were getting this room i'm still gonna avoid for a little bit longer and this room, by the time I make this video, is probably painted. Um, we've been mudding out the weird seams inside of it, trying to put some base coats of primer down, making it not weird colors of black and green. 
Um, yep, this one's kind of boring. But check it out. Let's look at the rails again. Okay. I'm going to run into Keith here in a little bit. These rooms. This one still needs some texture before they paint again. One last little float out on that uh, drywall patch. Look it. Can't see it, but there's texture on the wall. Anyhow, it's really refreshing. And it's a huge accomplishment. If you're trying to get all this stuff done, we still got to do those seams, sorry. Um, but, you know, it's a huge accomplishment if we're trying to get all this stuff done. I'm pointing to, like, plumbing electrical that we left open. Um, so we didn't get in their way. But two days. Two days, guys. We've got a lot done. And by this weekend, I'm, I mean, again, the 60-day challenge has been one of those things where we're really pushing ourselves. And if the city um, does allow us to open this up, hopefully with minor little corrections and stuff, um, so you like it's been really good to us. We really appreciate all their help and clarity in these situations. Um, but again, if they let us open this up, we'll be doing round two. I don't know. I thought it was kind of a fun shot. Yeah, we're looking at the plumbing. See that? There's plumbing. Pex is run. I could take a shower if I was really in the mood, I guess. Oh, look at the railing on this side. Looks really good. You kind of see the roof too. They uh, cut off the flapping parts of that membrane that were over the side. I guess we'll come greet our railing guys since they've now put on, I think it's 1400 spindles. Um, I think we're going to have maybe a couple extra. I think I bought 1450 just in case. I did see them throw one as a lawn dart. Oh, check this out guys. Um, something about this makes it feel complete. No fence. We got this nice yellow stuff down. I decided I'm just not going to try to do any actual recording during the actual videos anymore because then I'll get in trouble for uh, copyright infringement. Really, guys? We're cool. Yep. Now for the bonus footage. Check it out. We're working so hard I'm getting blisters on the top of my feet. All right. So here we go. One of the railing guys. We definitely didn't go around and pull these all out by hand. Recently out of surgery. Should not be doing things like that. But this guy thought he can keep up. So let's check it out. It's going to be a slow-mo type thing. Had to turn off the volume for this piece. Particularly because we had rock music in the background. And YouTube does not let me play music in the background. But everybody gets grumpy when I turn off the radios. Okay. This guy used to be a pretty big guy from what everyone tells me. He used to be a, a professional weightlifter. And... Uh, He's trying to take this post out. He decides, you know, maybe we're going to try to rock it on it, rolling on it. I don't know. And at some point here, he's like, I'm just going to cheat. I'm going to use the dumpster. That's okay. Give him points. Bam. Crack. Done. Post. Gone. We give him points. Golf clap from everybody. Good job. Good job. 